Hi, everybody. So, i um, going to do another action figure haul here. Um, just real quick, I just want to say thank you for anyone who leaves comments. And if you're currently watching this, leave a like and thumbs up. And uh, scroll through the comments. If you someone left a comment, click on their channel and hit subscribe. Because a lot of the people who subscribe to me or leave comments have really, really good channels. So, um, if you get a chance, check out some of the people who are leaving comments videos. Because they have some really cool stuff. So... Check that out. Um, we're just going to jump in here. A lot of these were relatively cheap figures. Um, this is one of the monsters from Power Rangers. That is one line I refuse to collect. Um, there's a lot of lines I don't collect, and it's mostly just because, um, well, like He-Man or Thunder, the vintage Thundercat stuff. Um, I've had big collections of them before, and I've sold them off. Um, eventually, I might collect them again, but... Power Rangers is something I will never collect. I think it's hot garbage. Um, sorry if you like Power Rangers, but to me it's extremely hot garbage. When I was in third grade, as a third grader, all I could think of was, wow, this is straight hot garbage. Um, anyway, so if you like Power Rangers, sorry you like hot garbage. Um, with that being said, this little pig dude is kind of a weird little creation. It's kind of funky looking, kind of cool. Um, then we got the giant yellow ranger, um, with the karate chop action. Um, and then this little shark fish dude, I can't remember what his name is. I looked him up, um, but I really don't care because it's a Power Ranger. So those figures are definitely not going to be staying in the collection. I got a buddy who collects Power Rangers, so... He'll either get those or they'll get put in a big lot and sold off at some point. When I get a big enough lot of junk that I don't want. Um, I want to say I paid maybe a dollar or two dollars for all this stuff. Something like that. Um, then at Goodwill I found Valvatron for a buck. That was just a little Transformer tie-in. It doesn't do anything at all. It's just... Simply a Transformer time of Valvoline. Um, yeah. uh, then I got this TMNT cookie cutter for 50 cents. And then I picked up this legendary Blue Lion. Voltron's one of those things where I like it because I had it as a kid, but I don't remember ever watching the cartoon as a kid. I just remember the lion because that was the only thing I had was the blue lion. Um, and here's the box that came with. I think I paid 54 cents for this guy. Um, and here he is. He's complete. I wouldn't mind to have all of these guys, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I would like to have it. I always thought... Voltron was cool, but it was borderline Power Rangers, you know, with the stuff combined and everything. But what really killed me with Power Rangers was the show. Um, yeah, I just couldn't stand the um, special effects in the show. I don't know. It was just, even as a kid, I thought it looked terrible. So, I don't know. Power Rangers just, for some reason, just can't get into. Um, let me while I jump back. So, this thing is the Tron car. And I want to say I paid a buck for it. Uh, it says two there, so I'm pretty sure I paid a buck for it because everything was like half price. But all these little panels still open. And these little things pop out. It's supposed to light up, but it doesn't have any batteries in it. The cockpit still opens up. And then this thing turns. Um... I'm a vehicle guy, so I like really cool designs on cars, and that is a really cool design. I wish I had some batteries to try in this thing. Um, but I think the only thing it really does is I think the centerpiece lights up, is it? But that is just, that's a pretty cool car. And then up with the Goodwill stuff. I picked up this Bebop, which I already have one, so I want to custom paint this one to look like a vintage Bebop. 
and maybe do some work on it um, to where it looks more like a vintage Bebop. We'll see. Uh, I'm looking up at the one. Eh, definitely could use some work. I think you would have to cut off these. Or at least maybe one. Maybe one of the teeth too. Uh, yeah, he definitely would need some work. He definitely is missing the shoulder pads though. Um, and then I could just paint the vest red and the boots red. And the body color would have to be a little bit darker, I think. But anyway, that is that guy. So while I was at the Goodwill, I also picked up some comic books. So I picked up Nailbiter. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Uh, Injection. I don't know anything about that one. Uh, really looking forward to reading this BPRD Killing Ground. And then um, I have the first five issues of this, or two issues, or three issues, or something. I got a while back. I tried reading it, and I couldn't get into it. So I don't know. It doesn't really, based on what I'm seeing here, I don't really see, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's something I would like or not. Um, but for a buck a piece, I figured, why not? Gives me a couple good things to read, and maybe something good to check out. Um, next up, I got a set of Mega Bloks He Man figures for nine bucks for the set, which I have. I think all of these figures except for Tila was the only one I didn't grab, so that was the main reason why I picked this set up. And then I picked up Cyclops. Um, they had, I've seen everyone else so far. I passed on the Storm because the card was so jacked. And I have one some point coming from Big Bad Toy Store. And I passed on Wolverine. I've got an Iceman already ordered. Uh, Silver Samurai, I don't really care to have. Dazzler is kind of one of those I wouldn't mind to have. But if I, I'd rather wait and see if maybe I, it'll hit clearance or something. Um, what do you guys think about these packages? I love the looks of them. But I don't like how they fit on the shelves. Uh, that... That's the only thing that bugs me is I'm used to the small Marvel Legends boxes. In all honesty, I wish they would just do a perfect square like they do on the uh, Black Series Star Wars figures. Just because they're easier to store and put on shelves and everything. Um, I like these cards. They look good sitting with their others and everything. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, that was a bit of negativity. And I didn't mean it to sound that way. All right. Let's just jump in. So a while back, I got some G.I. Joe stuff, and I got rid of it. And I wish I wouldn't have, but I wanted the... I was trading a guy for some Star Wars stuff, and I wanted the Star Wars stuff more than the G.I. Joe stuff. But it kind of got me thinking, and I ended up buying a G.I. Joe Rattler. You'll remember I got it a while back. And then the P-51 Mustang. Is it P-51? Something like that. It's the green Mustang airplane. Um, Sergeant Savage airplane. Uh, so I've been kind of looking at G.I. Joe vehicles, and occasionally, you know, I run across them. So I figured, you know, I'll grab a couple of them that I like. So um, picked up, uh, I want to say this is Destro's Destroyer or Dominator, maybe. I think it's the Dominator. Um, but you can see it's got the little Destro tag there. Uh, so it's a tank. And then everything folds up, and this whole back piece slides out, and then you've got the helicopter blades here that open out, and becomes a helicopter. This is one problem I have is these weapons. These guns like to get stuck when you're pushing it back. Um, from what I can tell, the only thing I'm missing is one missile that goes back here. Um, but I think that's a cool vehicle. I don't know. I, I, I like tanks. I like airplanes. I like helicopters. So that kind of fits right up there. And then 
I'll grab this one that's not in that great of shape, but it'll work. It looks cool. And that is the G.I. Joe Raider. And I'll put this right down here. And this whole thing spins, if you've never seen one of these, this whole back section will actually, how does that work? Pops up, and then the missiles come out, and this whole piece is supposed to stay up here. And then it's got these two giant orange missiles. And then... I don't like fiddly toys, but that's kind of the definition of the fiddly toy. And then it's got this section here that will actually unclip off. And I don't know if you can really see it without me doing it, but there's a little dome in here. And this whole section comes off and becomes like a scout vehicle. And you got an extra gun under here. Um, from what I can tell, it's missing the two spotlights that go up here. They're snapped off. I've got one of them, or both of them, in the cockpits here. They just need glued back on. And the cockpit doesn't want to stay. Um, and then I'm missing one of these big guns that's supposed to go on the sides here. Um, but... It is what it is, and it's cool. I think it's just it's just a cool looking vehicle. Uh, definitely needs a bath, that's for sure. Uh, do I have enough room to slide that back more? All right. So I got a couple things left. Let's just look through this bag here. All right, so got a bag of parts for Darkwing Duck figures. So, um, some guns. I got Darkwing Duck's weapons. I got the plant guy's weapons. I can't think of the names right now. Um, but basically, I got a bunch of the weapons for the Darkwing Duck figures. So, eventually, I'll track the figures down. I've only got, I think, the plant guy, maybe. And then these are some weapons for uh, Pirates of Dark Water. And then I've got a Chrome Dome wing there. And I've got a knife sword for, um, I think that was to Squall in Final Fantasy 7. Or, um, sorry, 9. Not 7. And then I've got one of the keys for um, one of the Transformers that takes a key to unlock his special weapons. I think this one may go to Megatron, but I'm not sure. Actually, I may already have Megatron's. I don't know, I always just grab these keys when I see them just because they're always missing when I get the figures, so. Um, next up, I got uh, one of the gargoyles. Um, sorry, I don't know this stuff right off the top of my head tonight. Uh, Brooklyn? Is this from Brooklyn? Or... I don't know. It's one of the gargoyles. He is complete. Uh, I am trying to collect all the gargoyles. And hopefully uh, I'll eventually learn all their names. Bronx? Is that? No, that's not Bronx. I think that's Brooklyn. I don't know. I'll have to look him up. Then I got a Skywarp shell, which I don't really need, but he gave it to me anyway. And a Starscream shell. Again, I don't really need this, but he gave it to me anyway. So, figure why not. And then I got a bag of weapons that I need for um, Toxic Crusader. So... Uh, I think this completes one of them. Dr. Psycho, maybe, or something like that? I don't know if that fit completes him or not, but those are both for... All those are for Toxic Crusader figures. And then he threw in this, because I already have... An, uh, uh, I think this goes to the... the um, oh, I've already got Ace... Um, what is the name of that stupid plane I've got over here? Sky Striker? Yeah. Um, yeah. And then... If you know who this guy is... And what these weapons go to... You may have a good idea of what I'm going to show you here in a little bit. So, any guesses? Put your Hit pause and uh, put it in the comments. Any guesses? Alright.
Alright. So next up, I ordered something kind of big. I got a really good deal on it. And whenever I ordered it, it came with these guys. Actually, I don't think it came with this one. I think I already had this one. These are Bucky O'Hare figures. There's Bucky. This one I already had. Uh, I've already actually got... This doesn't include the full set of them that I've got basically directly behind this desk right here. There's a full set of all the Bucky O'Hare figures. Except for I don't have any of their... Most of their accessories. I've got a handful of them, but... Really, I've got... Um, mainly the little tiny pistols that went to Bucky O'Hare, Deadeye Duck. I'm still missing all the rifles and... Uh, 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 Willie's uh, helmet and his gun and yeah basically I'm missing most of the accessories for uh, for these guys um, and we got this guy and I'm not I'm just kind of running through these so the way the guy listed him was he showed the big item but I didn't even notice that these figures were in there I just seen the big, big item and the very last picture was oh I'm going to throw in an, almost a whole set of the Bucky O'Hare figures too. So what I got was this tow double bubble uh, vehicle. This is the uh, biggest vehicle, one of the only two vehicles in the Bucky O'Hare line. Um, and it's 100% complete. It looks like it's brand new. Uh, the guy had a starting bid of 10 bucks with 10 bucks shipping. I think so all together I paid 20 bucks for everything and this thing alone usually goes for you know 50 to 80 so um, I got two of my figures in there but if you twist it you'll hear the toad croak and then it's got it's two little guns and then it's got these little Launchers here that really do shoot. If they didn't have this string on there, man, they would freaking shoot across the room. They are some strong strings. Um, but that was a definite surprise. I wasn't expecting to get it that cheap. Um, kind of felt a little bit bad about getting it that cheap, but you know, the guy put a no reserve price on there and had a starting bit of 10 bucks. So I guess that was always a risk that's a risk you take when you put stuff on ebay um clear some room here so that's one of my favorites from the week um At least one of the favorites. Um, so we're going to bring in this. This is probably one of the most expensive things that I picked up this week. And I'm going to pull back here. That is the Tomahawk. Um, it is complete. Well, it's missing one of these white missiles. Um, but other than that, it is complete. It's even got the hook on the bottom here um, all the panels are on it that I can tell or at least from what I can tell anyway uh, I'm really happy to have that that was one of my uh, the vehicles I didn't think I would be able to afford so um, really really happy to have that uh, that was definitely uh, something I wasn't planning on finding and I feel like 80 bucks was a pretty good price for it I don't know. I don't know GI Joe vehicles that well, but I thought whenever I looked it up on eBay, most of them usually went for around 140 um, in this condition. Um, so let me know if what do you guys think. Did I get a good deal? Um, actually, am I missing a seat? Where is the seat? There was an extra seat right here. I think I got missing a seat. It was in there earlier. I wonder if it fell out whenever I put it in my car. That would suck. Well, I'm kind of disappointed about that now. I've got to go see if maybe it's in my car. Um, but it does still have the two little guns here and everything. 
Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm slightly disappointed about that. I'm going to have to figure out where that seat went, if I lost it, or if it ever had it. All right, so I'm going to get this big thing out of the way here. And then we'll bring in probably one of the best pickups. Um, maybe not the best, but the best priced one, I guess, is the best way to say it. So, got a Titans Return Triptychon. Um, and you're probably saying, thinking, well, didn't you already have one of those? And yes, you would be correct. I do already have one of those. He is in box. Um, but what I don't have is I didn't have a Triptychon that I picked up at Goodwill for $4. So yes, that is a Triptychon. The only thing he was missing is his chest minion and the headmaster. Um, but that is a Triptychon for four bucks. So that is hands down uh, one of the uh, best priced pickups. Um, best deals. That's what we're going to call it. That was my best deal on something. It was going to be that uh, until I found a $4 Triptychon. So... Uh, $4 Triptychon or $20 um, Bucky O'Hare Double Bubble. Uh, is that thing even called the Double Bubble? <laughs> or am I just making that up? Because the other one's a Toad Croaker. Uh, anyway, yeah. What do you guys think? 20 bucks for that and a bunch of Bucky O'Hare figures or $4 for Triptychon? Or 80 bucks for a nearly complete Tomahawk? Uh, considering it may be losing a seat. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. All right, got one more thing to show you. So that's a big modern transformer. And this is a big G1 transformer. Uh, I got an Omega Supreme. Um, he is in box. Um, uh, hold on. I got to pull this thing out of here. You got to see the condition of this thing. Hold on. Alright, so here is the giant Omega Supreme, and he does have his instruction book, and the only thing I'm missing is one of these yellow clips. Uh, all the rest of them are in there, all the parts, uh, the battery terminals are in great shape, still has a styrofoam, so... Um, that is going to be the end of the haul video. Um, I want to say what I paid for this. I don't know off the top of my head. It was 80 bucks or 100 bucks for Omega. But I don't, I'm not, I'm just trying to tell you guys, uh, if I mainly tell you, you know, good deals are still out there if you kind of watch. Because in box, that thing should have went for a lot more, especially in the condition it's in. But me personally, I still think that the um, Chiptacon and the Double Bubble were the best deals. Um, as far as my favorite pickups, um, it would definitely be a toss between Omega, the Tomahawk, or that. But it's probably going to go towards Bucky O'Hare, just because I'd been wanting that thing for such a long time. And as much as I wanted an Omega Supreme and a Tomahawk, they weren't really as on my radar as something that maybe I could afford someday or something. Um, I thought they were going to be way out of my range of what I was going to buy or what I could find. Um, so anyway, I uh, found some really cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you for the next video. Uh, like I said, leave some comments in the page. What do you think? What was the best thing in the pickup? Uh, what do you think the best deal was? I know a $4 trip to con is um, pretty good deal. So I don't know if the, any of this other stuff can really beat that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you next time. Bye.